So, this, um, this was originally intended as counter-programming for uh, Sawyer's uh, CGI PM Must Die, which includes a lot of profanity. Anyway, so, Miyagawa, Platt, in his original, uh, original, in his presentation about Platt, he says, look, there's all these different web deployment environments where uh, we need to run uh, code, like uh, Apache, uh, CGI, FCGI, standalone web servers, and um, each one has its totally different, its own API. Uh, and ironically, the only module you can use which has the same API in all these environments is CGIPM. Therefore, I propose that uh, we should have a new protocol, PSGI, a new implementation, a new API, plaque. Wait a minute. You just said, pro web development is done. CGIPM, it's in the core. What is it? It's a complete, stable, mature solution for processing and preparing HTTP requests and responses. Its features include form processing, file uploads, reading, writing cookies. It also has some HTML generation utilities. It runs in all the environments. Does anyone use this? It's been developed for 10 years. Now, all this is from the documentation of CGIPM. De facto standard. Who wrote this crap? Lincoln D. Stein, also known as Professor Lincoln D. Stein, from the How Perl Saved the Human Genome. OK? When developing with CGIPM, remember, Lincoln D. Stein is smarter than me. There must have been a good reason for this. Now, assorted attacks against CGIPM. It's slow. It doesn't load the entirety of CPAN. It doesn't use Moose. And there's also CGI Fast, which is fast. It's heavy. It's the batteries, which are included. Tests use debugging. Unsafe. If you really wanted to upload a file, it's probably a big file. You shouldn't be limited. It's object-oriented and procedural. It has. Um, OK, certain keywords it injects if you use the procedural interface are identical to Perl keywords. Scary. So, so it helpfully uppercases some of these, except for reset. Um, this is your, new Isra your second new Israeli idiom. Reset can go look for its friends. Uh, it is. CGI libpl compatible, so it's a breeze to port Perl 4 scripts. It supports server push, that's like a real-time web thing. It has some HTML generating utilities which make their own templating language. Uh, I should have included a, fr uh, a form in here. Um, templating languages? Oh, parameters, everything handled sticky values, right? So if you set a parameter and then print out the form with the same name, with the same CGI object, you're going to find that the values stick around. So you get persistence. That's why you need override and delete and die, die, die. Go away, param. Right. And it has its own data serialization format, right? You can just save your arguments to standard output or any other file handle, I guess. Uh, and you can reinitialize a new object from that file handle. Um, this can be used for debugging, config files, multiple records. Yes, you can have multiple CGI requests serialized together. Yeah. Oh, wait, I don't need that to speak. Um, it's actually on CPAN uh, as a module called Boulder IO which uh, is used as the uh, input and configuration format of a number of bioinformatics utilities, uh, which I won't get into, which is a bit too technical. Uh, and I think I ran out of slides. Did I run out of time? I have 12 seconds, 11 seconds. Use CGI, it's, oh god, I can't, I can't.